Hey, 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 beautiful people. What's going on? It's your girl in the S.S. of the Bodacious Lifestyle Coach coming to you on this fabulous food Friday, this fabulous feel-good Friday. If you are catching the replay, what's going on, beautiful people? Thank you so much for tuning in. And for those of you who don't know me, um, I am Linda S. Hustle, the Bodacious Lifestyle Coach, and black women over 50 coach with me when they're feeling like life is passing them by. Let's just put it out there. When they're feeling like life is passing them by, and I, I teach them how to gain the guts and the grace, give yourself the grace to, to live your life with intention instead of just existing so that you can finally be fulfilled and less frustrated. Now, you're wondering, like, look at what, what you're doing. Well, girl... Listen, I'm, I am getting my fabulous Friday food fix in. You know, I'm snatching my sexy back, getting my um, getting my food on. Got to get rid of this. This got to go. Not happy about this at all. Your gut should not be bigger than your butt. Mm -mm. Not at all. And so, um, where was I? Oh, my goodness. It's the midlife mind, y'all. Be leaving me sometime. But anywho... I um, wanted to come on today, and I figured I could kill two birds with one stone. I could get this food on, because I'm on a mission to snatch my sexy back. I'm not waiting for New Year's Eve to get a start on this. I'm handling it now. And I want to talk about how I was able to kick my fear of aging to the curb, because it was on me, y'all. Ooh, I did not want to get old. And, you know, when I say that, people say, no, Linda, you're not getting old. You're getting bolder or you don't get bitter, blah, blah, blah. We're, if, if you say somebody is 12 years old, I can say I'm 58 years old. I think it's cute. And I think it's, um, you know, when people try to say, no, I'm getting, I'm 58 years young. No, you're 58 years old. And here's the thing. It's okay. When we do those things, I believe. Now, this is just the philosophy of Linda. This is just the, the Linda the lesson of Linda. I believe when we try to sugarcoat things and make it not be what it is, hey, Karen Cook Jasper, it's because we feel in some kind of way about it. Let's be clear. We are feeling some kind of way about it. I say I'm 50 years, 58 years old. I say 58 feeling great. I say it's never too late to be great. Own it. If you're 58 years old, you're 58 years old. If you're 60 years old, you're 60 years old. If you're 15 years old, people will say I'm 15 years old. Why is it when we start getting older, the word old just, just does something to us? Why is that? Because we have bought into the, the status quo and the societal norms that make it feel like aging is a pre-existing condition. Aging is not a pre-existing condition. Aging is what it is. You are just moving up the ladder of life. And what I found is that the more significance that we have just turned 57. Happy birthday, Karen. And what I have found important, now maybe it's me, but Karen, you let me know this. When your life has more significance, right? And you know, I might step on some toes and it is what it is, right? But I'm going to tell the truth. Is when your life has more significance, you're not concerned with the age as much. When your life is more significance, you are not concerned about your age as much. What does that mean? What am I saying, Linda? Linda, what you trying to say, girl? What I'm saying is when you feel good about who you are, you feel good at 96, like Cicely Tyson was 96 years old, and she would tell you proudly she was 96. If you know, I want you to Google, hello, Renee, I want you to Google Chef Babette. Chef Babette, somebody put that in the comments. Chef Babette, B-A-B-E-T-T-E. -T -T -E. If you look up Chef Babette, she'll tell you all day, every day. And she's 72 years old. She's about to be 73, y'all. And she looks fantastic. Now, why is it that when you're older and you're feeling bolder and, and, and you're not bitter, right? Why is it that when you get older and you feel good about yourself, you be quick to say, Oh, no, honey, I'm 85. I'm 67. I'm 84. Ernestine is 85 years old. And she'll tell you quick, I'm 85. That's because they're feeling good about who they are. So one of the things that I had to flip the script is acknowledge that I wasn't feeling good about who I was. That's why I was having such a difficult time aging. Because when you feel good about who you are, it don't matter how old you are. You just feeling good about it. Period. Right? So I, I went on a mission to try to figure out, oh, okay, Linda. Well, hey, Anita. Well, how do, well, well, how do we feel good about this whole aging thing? 
I started looking at what it was I wanted to do with my life. I started looking at where I was in my life. I started looking at why I wasn't doing what I thought I should be doing in my life at a certain age. And I got honest with myself. Y'all, we got to be honest with ourselves. We got to do a self-assessment. We have got to do a self-assessment. If you are, are, are tripping or feeling some kind of way about the age that you are, I'm going to go out on a limb and say it's because you don't feel like you where you want to be in your life. So you're thinking like, oh, but at this age, I should be doing this or I should be doing that, right? Um, and number two, you are are like in a rut. You're kind of like stuck in a rut and you don't know how to get out. And number three, you know there's more to life than what you're living, but yet you don't quite know how to live that life. So I'm getting ready to, um, I'm tired of this stomach. Just tired of this stomach. Your gut should not be bigger than your butt. So... One of the things that I did to start um, so that I wouldn't uh, see aging as a pre-existing condition or something that we need to shy away from or run away from or lie about. Like, what is all this? We, we lying about our age. No. Say what it is. It is what it is. So, I'm getting ready to snatch my sexy back. Not wait until New Year's Eve. Mm -mm. But I'm tired of talking about this weight, y'all. I'm just tired of talking about this way. I want to look like Chef Babette. I want to look like uh, Ernestine Shepard. I want to look like um, Wendy Ida. These are all people that are ordinary people who decided to take their health back, who decided that they wanted to age with excellence. And so that's what they're doing. And I'm like, well, you know what? I'm the Bodacious Lifestyle Coach. I'm out here teaching black women how to elevate their game, how to step into their next level life, how to kick fear of aging to the curb, how to be bolder and, and, and feel, you know, bolder as they're getting older and not bitter. And yet I cannot seem but a life for me to get this weight under control. I said, I got to reverse engineer some stuff. This is crazy. This is just crazy. And so I love this primal kitchen, right? And I'm, this is their extra virgin olive oil. So I'm about to saute me this, this uh, squash. And then I'm going to cut up these peppers. And then I got this, these Brussels sprouts. Because I'm, going, I'm, not, I'm not going out like that. I'm not going out um, with this whole thing. Well, you know, now that you get older, it's harder to get the weight off. It might be harder, but it ain't impossible. Because I'm looking at too many people who are doing it. So it may be harder, but it is not impossible. So one of the ways, ladies, let me get this going right here. One of the ways that we kick ages into the curb is when we feel good about who we are. Hello, Deneen. When, when we feel good about who we are. So I'm not going to just keep talking about how this, 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 this weight is getting on my nerves. I want to feel good about myself. I don't know how much longer I have left, but I'm pretty sure there's probably more years behind me than in front of me, right? So I'm getting ready to use this Primal Kitchen California Extra Virgin Olive Oil. This company, I see them on, on YouTube all the time. And so I'm getting ready to use this, honey. Getting ready to get my zucchini on. So, and, and these peppers and these Brussels sprouts. I'm getting ready to cook up all this, right? Uh, because one of the ways that we kick this whole ageism stigma to the curb is we got to feel good about ourselves. And y'all, let me tell you this right here. You can say whatever you want to say, right? But don't you feel some kind of way when you see like Angela Bassett, she's 62 and she just looks fantastic. Please let me know in the comments. Have you seen how fabulous my Angela Bassett is looking these days? I, I Google it. If, if you haven't seen it, just Google Angela Bassett right now. Viola Davis is looking fantastic. And it's not about you got to starve yourself or do any, anything like that. I am eating clean the five days, is that 10? Five days a week. And then I kind of splurge a little bit on the weekend. But I really, 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 really am eating clean. So my whole thing is... You kick aging to the curb by feeling really good about yourself, by owning your age. Don't be out here lying, y'all. Don't say, I'm so-and-so years young. Just say what it is. Embrace it. 
I am 58 years old. I'm not 58 years young. I'm not 58 years... No, I'm 58 years old. That's how old I am. I am 58 years old, period. Okay? I'm 58 years old. And I'm getting my seasons, y'all, so I can get my... Um, season up my stuff. I'm 58 years old. I want y'all, if y'all, y'all got, y'all bold, put it, put in the, put in the comments how old you are. Put in the comments how old you are. On this stuff, y'all, because, see, they got, they got us, um, they got us going for the okie doke. See, if they can get you feeling bad about how old you are, then they can sell you all that crap. Because even though, you know, they try to make, you know, older people don't give us no props. Do you know that aging is a billion dollar industry? Billions, a billion, no billions with an S between the Juvederm and the fillers and the people getting that. They doing necks and faces. You know, you can get um, hand lifts now because let's be clear. Now, you can look at somebody's hand and tell, oh, girl, you might have that weave on. You might be a size two. Yeah, you looking good, Stephanie, honey. But I can tell by those hands that you, you know, in your late 50s and 60s and up, it is what it is. 55 and happy to thrive. Yes. Um, who else we got on here? Deneen, did you say you were 57? Y'all, if you come on in, put your age in the comments. Let's 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 have a truth telling party. Mm-hmm. So one of the reasons why 55 and loving it. Yes, as you come in, ladies, put your put your age in the comments. Come on. I'm here seasoning up my stuff. I got these zucchinis here. Then I'm going to have me some peppers and some broccoli. No, this is Brussels sprouts. Yeah, it's Brussels sprouts. So, um, yes, yeah, so I'm just getting my cook on because I'm tired of this stomach. I'm tired of this stomach. I'm tired of this these, this right here. When I clap, you know, it's just giggling. I'm tired of that. I'm tired of the energy. You know, I don't have as much energy as I want to have. I'm tired of not having the energy. Um... I'm tired of not really being my best. I'm tired of not being my best. You know, I'm good at what I do. You know, the black women over 50 now, I'm crushing it in that my, with my coaching game and all that. But I started thinking, okay, Linda, you helping them with their mind, but we got to get this body right too. And so, you kick ageism to the curb by owning it, number one. Stop lying to the people. Just stop lying. Just, just own it. Own how old you are. Say how old you are. You are so many years old. And it's okay. It's fine. Because I get to define what old means to me. I get, I get to define what that means to me. I'm 58 years old. I'm 58 and feeling great. I'm 58 and loving life. I'm 58 and I'm all that and a bag of chips. I'm 58 and loving the skin that I am in. It is what it is. So the first thing is you're going to own your age. That's how you kick it to the curb. That's how you kick aging to the curb is just own your age. Number two, find some significance in your life. You're not too old. It's not too late. You're not washed up. There's not too much water under the bridge and all that crazy stuff that people try to say. No, no, no. Find some significance in your life. So the first thing is own your age. The second thing is find some significance in your life. Too many of us are just out here. Well, let me put this in, 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 in the thing. Too many of y'all are just out here. Um, let me move this over here. Ugh, hold on, y'all. Too many of y'all are just out here just going along to get along, right? You don't really have no... Um, you don't really have nothing that... that, that, that that like revs you up, that, that makes you feel passionate and alive. Like, what is it that makes you feel passionate and alive? Y'all, y'all got to do that, okay? So, what, what did I say the first thing was? Let me see if y'all paying attention. What's the first thing I said that, um, how you kick aging or ageism to the curb? Let me see if y'all paying attention. Somebody put the first thing you got to do in the comments while I get my stuff on y'all y'all listening y'all paying attention what's the first thing 
Hello. Welcome, 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 beautiful people. Renee, were you paying attention? What did I say the first thing was? In order to... We got to deal with this aging thing, y'all. I'm saying aging, not Asian. Nothing wrong with Asians, but I am saying aging. And I just washed my hair, too. So today is feel good. Just feel good day all along. Feel good food. Cooking up my zucchini. Then I got me some peppers I'm going to do. And some broccoli. On your age. Yes, Karen. Ooh. Karen. Okay. Who got the number one? The second thing. What's the second thing? Karen, you might as well go ahead. Say your age. Renee, yep. Say your age. On your age. What's the second thing we got to do, beautiful people? In order to slay this aging stigma. What's the second? What's the third? What's the second thing we got to do, y'all? What's the second thing we got to do? Say it for the people in the back. We talking about how we going to crush, kick this aging thing to the curb. Y'all, we supposed to be living our best life. We supposed to be living our life like it's golden. Right now is what we should be doing. Living our life like it's golden. But some of y'all, living your life like it's rust. Find something you love. Okay. So, the first thing is... On your age, right? The first thing is on your age. The second thing is like, yes, find something you love. Find some significance in your life. Some significance in your life. If you died right now, what would people say about you? Not trying to step on no toes. Just get you to understand. What, what, what are you doing that's significant in your life? And listen, this is how I got to where I am today. Is yes, find some significance in your life. Is I looked up at 49 and I was like, oh my God, in one year I'm going to be 50? And I do not feel significant. I don't feel like if I die today, my tombstone is going to, you know, uh -uh. what they going to say about me at my funeral? Yes, find significance in your life. Number three, what's number three? We are talking about the three ways that you can kick aging to the curb because aging is not a pre-existing condition beautiful people aging is not a pre-existing condition i will always say that i love my um i love sissy tyson because sissy tyson went out like a boss she wrote that book got some stuff off her chest because y'all did you know that sissy tyson had a daughter I didn't know Sissy Tyson had a daughter. And then she got that book out, went on that book tour, and Sissy died about two weeks after her tour. She squeezed all the juice out of life, y'all. And that's all I'm saying. So I'm cooking up this healthy food because I'm looking at my stomach. I'm tired. You know, I don't have as much energy as I'd like. And I said, it's, it's the food. I'm not going out like that. I got Wendy Ida. Look her up. I have Ernestine Shepherd. Look her up, Google her. And I have Chef Babette. They are seven they are sixties, seventies, and eighties respectively. Ordinary people, not celebrities, who decided that they were going to let age refine them, but not define them. And so what is the third thing, ladies? You're talking about the three ways. We can kick aging to the curb. Does anybody know what number three was? We got own your age, find something you love, or find significance in your life. And what's the third thing? The third thing for the grand prize. What is the third thing, ladies? Who got number three? Who got number three? I hope y'all got number three because I forgot it. Be honest. Don't nobody have number three? Come on, y'all. Somebody. We all can't have menopause brain. What's number three, y'all? Let me see if it's on here and I need to just scroll up. Nope, it ain't on there. Anybody? Anybody know what number three is? Anybody? Hello? Number three. Number three. Number three. Anybody know what number three is? Y'all know what number three is? Come on now. I only heard two. Karen, Karen, you were here from, from the jump. What's number three?
Renee said she only heard two. Karen, what was number three? Oh my gosh, y'all share this video out. If y'all this age, y'all got some other friends that's y'all age too. I'm so crazy. Share this video out. Because somebody is, is probably feeling some kind of way. Get rid of what you don't like. <laughs> We're going to go with that, Karen. We're just going to go with that. Yes, 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 yes. So we'll go with, with those two. On your age, find some. I forgot it. I know. I know. I forgot it too, girl. It's, it's so sad. Let me look at my notes and see. Nope. Because sometimes, y'all, I just be coming up with stuff. And I was just looking at myself in the mirror, just feeling some kind of way. Y'all ever feel some kind of way about, about how you looking? And I used to just keep buying bigger clothes. I'm tired of buying bigger clothes. I'm not buying no more clothes. I'll just be wearing sweatpants and stretch pants or something. I am not buying no more clothes. I can do this. I can do this. Okay, so we had uh, three ways to kick your aging to the curb. The first was own your age. Stop lying about how old you are. Stop it. And stop saying you so and so many years young. You so many years old. It is what it is. We got to snatch these words back and, and own them and make them not um, and make them not be uh, a bad word. Because remember when you would, used to say you were 13 years old, when you were 21 years old, when you were 30 years old. When did we start kind of backsliding and lying a little bit about our age? About 40 ish. No, don't do that, y'all, because that's sinking into our psyche. And, and, and every day that we lie and say this, that, or try to butter it up and make it be what it ain't, is we're telling ourselves negative declarations. They got positive affirmations, but they also got neg negative declarations. So stop it, y'all. I'm trying to think what the third one is. Okay, own your age, be significant, and number three, I'm going to just come up with a number three. Number three. Um, number three, number three, what could, what could number three be? Y'all listening. So what can number three, if we're going to say the first one is on your age, the second thing is find significance in your life. What could, what could the third thing be that would help, help you feel better about aging? What, what could the third thing be? Get in shape. How about that one? Get in shape, y'all. Mmm. Because we be telling ourselves that uh, it's it's the hormones and the metabolism. Yeah, but uh, Angela Bassett is 62. About to be 63 and she looks good. Viola Davis has got to be about 50 and she looks good. So... That's what I wanted to share. And I also wanted to share, you know, um, a lot of times people will ask me different questions. Be with like-minded people. Yeah, that, that's definitely good, Renee. Um, ask me different questions about, you know, well, Linda, you know, it seems you make it seem so easy. It is easy. Yes, if you don't like things about yourself, fix it. Stop making excuses. I'm too big. I personally... I'm too big for me. Now, I'm down here in Georgia, and there's a whole lot of people that's a way lot bigger than me, but that's on them. I, I, can't, I can't compare myself to other people. I'm comparing myself to Linda. So, with that, I just wanted to leave y'all with that. I was just, you know, just got done with my master class, and one lady was saying that she was 58 years young, and I asked her, why does she say that? And she said she just didn't like the way old sounded and i'm like well dang okay and i said well why do you think you don't like the way old sound and then you know we went a little deeper and a little deeper but at the end of the day it just turns out that you know she feels some kind of way about getting older and i embrace i'm getting ready to get me a t-shirt that says 58 looking great and every year as i move up the ladder of life i'm gonna get a t-shirt that says i'm gonna be 58 looking great feeling great 59, feeling fine. 60 is the new sexy. You know, I already got all my stuff. You know, I'm going to embrace it. Because that's the only way we get through this thing. Because we only going to get older, y'all. Our hair is only going to get gray. I mean, you can dye it, but you see that gray before you put that dye on it. These crow feet are only, only going to get deeper. These hands 
only gonna get more wrinkly and, and it's okay because I'm good so that's how you kick age into the curb y'all you gotta stop lying to yourself and lying to people about how old you are number one embrace how old you are and say it proudly proudly because when you feel good about yourself you say it and even if you think you're feeling good about yourself if you lying about your age no you're not no you're not you are not feeling good about yourself if you're lying about your age okay and if you're not feeling significant find some significance what is it that you like to do what is it that you love to do do that and if you need to work on your confidence if your self-esteem is not where it needs to be own that too you can go to chatwithlindanow.com and we can have a 30 minute free session on zoom and we can talk about how we can up level up level your mind how we can crush that self doubt and them negative <laughs> Karen says she can't commit to that well that's okay that's fine no problem just just start seeing how old you are that's what you do. I mean, I don't mean go up to people and be like, oh my God, I'm 57. But if somebody asks you, how do you feel? If you get that little twinge inside, you you still dealing with some things. If you can just say, oh, I'm 57, 58, feeling great. That's what I say to people. When it comes to my age, I say that. And guess what they always say? Girl, no, you're not. You're 58. And I love it, y'all. Not, not from a vanity aspect, but I love the fact that I'm still vibrant and vivacious and valuable and that my energy is still here. Even some days when I need to take a nap, I still feel good about who I am, where I am in my life and, and what I'm doing, what I'm up to in life. I, I have significance. When I have my groups and I'm doing my master classes, and, and, and the sisters are there, and, and I'm teaching them how to move through fear and crush self-doubt and understand that there is still juice left in them. All they got to do is squeeze it out, y'all. That's a beautiful place to be. That's, that's significant. I want you to find that for yourself. And if you need some support, if you need, you know, some assistance in that area, then just go to chat with Linda now.com now i am getting ready to sign off because my stuff y'all oh it's, it's looking good y'all see i got my you see i got my stuff right here now I, all i got to do is season up my oh what are these things called brussels sprouts and i got me some of that meat that that fake meat i can't remember what it's called but we getting ready to hook that up and just enjoy myself so that's my friday feel good message i want you to own your age find some significance in your life and i mean when i say significance i mean like some significance you know like making a difference in the world making a difference in the world like what i do i know i make a difference in the world find find something that that you you know makes you feel like you're making a difference in the world mm -hmm. All right, y'all. So y'all have a fabulous Friday. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.